focus of criticism. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel, and this is Eyewitness News. It's been nearly three weeks since those attacks. We've all seen them on videotape. We've heard the accusations. We have watched police make arrests. Now an internal department investigation is complete. Dave Evans has details. He's live in Central Park this evening. Good evening, Dave. Good evening, Bill. The problem reportedly has been that a number of the victims simply can't identify from photographs the officers who they reportedly asked for help. Because of that, only a handful of officers appear to be in any real trouble. After almost three weeks of investigating and charging 25 suspects, police brass are now prepared to punish several of its own officers who ignored victims' complaints. But reports of light reprimands for only a half dozen officers is infuriating many women. It's ridiculous to say that, you know, disciplining five or six officers and even, you know, taking away their vacation pay or putting a letter of reprimand is going to make any difference. Susan Carton, a lawyer, represents Ann Peyton Bryant, one of more than 50 assault victims. Carton is so mistrustful of police destroying evidence that she got a judge to grant a temporary ruling ordering the preservation, safeguarding, protection and disclosure of police records and recorded audio tape materials. But I blame the higher ups of the police department and their commands that day and unfortunately that's not going to be disciplined in this whole cover up that's going on now where it's back to you business as usual and the police department it will sweep it under the rug and we'll all go back and wait for the next crisis to happen. Or we'll be clear on Monday. Late today, the police commissioner refused to divulge any results of an internal affairs investigation, saying it'll come one day before the 4th. I'm going to do it in a re regular manner to look at it very carefully. Uh, this is serious issues. It involves people's careers. It involves uh, trauma to victims, and I'm going to make sure we do it right. Others will also be watching to make sure the internal affairs investigation is done right, including at least one member of Congress who will meet with Safer next week and the police were not responding is absolutely wrong. It has to be changed, and those who were involved who did not respond to someone in need should be fired. Well, no word yet on whether anyone will be fired because of what happened almost three weeks ago here in Central Park. Again, Police Commissioner Howard Safer won't release until Monday his report on a day probably many people won't notice while they're enjoying the July 4th holiday. Reporting live now on the southeast side of Central Park, Dave Evans, ABC7, Eyewitness News. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. Another big story tonight, the holiday getaway, which is kicking into high gear right now. Thousands of people escaping for the long 4th of July weekend and looking forward to it. The roads are already jammed, and it's not a pretty picture. Fully assaulted during and after the Puerto Rican Day Parade.